Thank you, and uh, good evening. Uh, if you don't mind, Mike, I'll start, and then you can chime in. Um, as you know, Hampton now has one less uh, representative in the legislature due to the resignation of um, David Wood. And uh, I certainly want to thank Representative Wood for his service and, and wish him all the best in the, um, in the future. Um, I'm very happy to be here with, um, I, just for the record, I am the uh, chairman of the Hampton Democratic Committee. And I'm very happy to be here with um, my counterpart or representative of my counterpart from the Republican side. Um, although we disagree on many different areas when it comes to public policy, um, we're happy to uh, come together when we think it's in the public's best interest. And we've come before you in the past to ask for your support in um, allowing us to have debates here. And we're here tonight because um, we think that, well, we, we, we both agree that Hampton should have full representation in Concord. And there is a mechanism where we can fill the seat that Representative Wood is vacating. Uh, it requires that you take action tonight. Um, what needs to happen is a letter needs to be sent to the Executive Council by no later than Wednesday uh, requesting a special election. And then, as I understand it, if that is approved, there would be a uh, opportunity for candidates to file between December 21st and December 24th. There would be a primary on January 19th and uh, then a general election. Uh, the general election would be held at the um, town meeting. Since it's very unlikely that there will be multiple candidates um, from each party running uh, for this seat, um, I would suspect that there would be only one from each party running in Janu on the January 19th, and that, in effect, would then become the general election. And we would have, so we would have one extra election, and then we'd, we'd have the representative. So I'm, on behalf of the Hampton Democrats, I'm asking that you write that letter to the Executive Council requesting that special election. Thank you. And I, I do agree as well. On behalf of the, the Republican Committee, we uh, echo the concerns uh, regarding full representation in Concord and the um, mechanism by which to go about um, filling that seat. And Chairman Rice asked me to pass on his um, due respect to all of you. He had a previous engagement, so he couldn't be here this evening. You, I want the record to show that I was sitting to the right. <laughs> so let, let, let Fred know that. Okay? One time, yes. <laughs> Any questions? Our left. <laughs> uh, you know, it would be, it would be really... Uh, convenient not to have a special election, but I think it's important that we do have it because I think that the full representation is necessary. Uh, so I, I go along totally with what they're saying. Mr. Bridal? Having spent 10 years up there, I know how important it is to have all our reps there, so I wholeheartedly agree. Mrs. Wolseley? I have no problem. Mr. Bean? Mr. Zeno, you sit on the uh, port side, and Mr. Mung, you sit on the starboard side for uh, exactly two. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I have. Mr. Make a motion. Oh, do we need a motion? Yes, you do. Yeah. All right, I make a motion that we send a letter to the uh, governor to uh, get this process rolling right away. I'll set yeah. up. Okay. All those in favor, unanimous. Thank and you for maybe, coming. Maybe, Fred, could you just explain how it's going to work? Huh, well, <laughs> so the public's aware. With a few bumps, I'm afraid. Okay. But, um, this will go before governor and council on Wednesday, uh, we hope. Uh, we'll have it delivered tomorrow because we need to do that in hand. This is something that needs to be done right away. Uh, and this is the letter, by the way, that we're assigning. Uh, we will ask the governor and council through this letter to authorize a special election. They actually set the dates. Uh, but I believe you're correct. Uh, <coughs> they will be looking at, uh, if they approve it, sign, sign, sign up for a position will be starting on the 21st. It will run through the 24th. Uh, there was some question about whether or not the 28th will also be authorized, which is the following Monday because of the holiday on Friday. Um, we'll see how they arrange that, that particular item. Uh, if there's more than one candidate running for each office, then there will be a primary in January. I believe it's the 17th or the 19th. I don't have that paper with me. Um, if there is only one candidate from each party running, then the primary, the general election will be held in January on that particular day. And 
place of the primary. If there is a primary, the general election will be held the same day as town meeting, which is March 8th. Thank and you. The, the nomination papers will be available in the town clerk's office for the first two days of the open enrollment period and in the Secretary of State's office for all of the days of the open enrollment period. Mrs. I, I have a quick question. The filing date will be the 21st through the 24th? That's my understanding. But the 24th is the day before Christmas. What are the plans for the town office? Just said that. The, anytime we have an election date that we have to remain, well, the, you can only sign up for the town office on Monday and Tuesday. Right. Okay? So if you need to sign up any day other than that, you need to go to Concord. Okay. That's, I just want to make sure. Right. Okay. No, no, we're fine. Okay. Thank you for coming in this evening. We appreciate Welcome. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Make sure there's only one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next.